Hello and thanks for tuning in to my update for the third quarter of 2017, in which I will take you through our financial results and some of the highlights from across our company over the last three months. From a financial perspective, this quarter's results are strong. I'm happy to report that our underlying earnings are up significantly. Indeed, this is the fifth quarter in a row in which we have generated year-on-year -year earnings growth. The main drivers for the increase are growth across our businesses, management actions, and continuing to successfully execute on our ambitious expense savings program. So far, we have achieved expense savings of over 170 million euro, enabling us to continue to improve returns and invest in growing our business. We are also reporting strong net income. This includes charges related to assumption changes and model updates. These are mainly driven by the completion of the conversion of our largest block of universal life business in the US into a new dynamic model. I'm pleased that the quarter was also a very strong one in terms of gross deposits, as we had excellent flows in our key growth areas, such as asset management and our digital platforms, demonstrating how we are continuing to meet our customer needs. What's more, our solvency position is up substantially, and this means that we are in an excellent position to deliver on our targets to return capital to our shareholders. Looking beyond the numbers, there have been lots of important developments across our company over the last three months. In the Americas, colleagues have been focused on implementing our five-part plan aimed at improving profitability. This includes a $300 million run rate savings target by the end of 2018. And as our results show, the management actions we are taking are having the desired effect and we have already seen a marked increase in our profitability. This is an ongoing effort and we will implement further expense savings initiatives in the coming months. Moving to Europe. In the UK, the integration of the co-funds and Aegon platforms is progressing well. We recently announced that we are now going to brand our leading platform service in the UK simply as Aegon. And this marks another important step as we provide a consistent and unified service to all our customers and advisors. In the Netherlands, I am pleased that the strategic shift from spread to fee businesses is continuing to prove successful with solid growth in our defined contribution solutions. We've also generated strong inflows into our Dutch mortgage fund, which is managed by our in-house expert at Aegon Asset Management. In Asia, just like Europe, and the Americas, digital innovations are radically changing how we do our business, meaning that we can help our customers in ways unthinkable only a few years ago. Aegon Life in India, for instance, has been a pioneer in serving our customers in India online, while our joint venture comparison website, GoBear, is helping customers get the best deals on insurance and other financial products and services in Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia, Philippines, Hong Kong, and Vietnam. This quarter, our Chinese joint venture launched Zeus. This industry-leading platform enables agents to complete the digital underwriting process in as little as five minutes, giving customers a quicker and more efficient service and at a lower cost. And this is just a flavor, of course, of all the exciting work we're doing across our company. We have achieved a lot and we continue to work hard to execute on our strategy to innovate and become truly digital, while at the same time focusing on growing our business. This is translating into strong results and the positive response for our millions of loyal and new customers gives me real confidence going forward. <music>